Welcome to our video, Common Problems with Gerber Files and How to Avoid Them. Brought to you by BayAreaCircuits.com. Let's jump right into these. Number one, obsolete file format. RS-274D um, is a common format that's been out there for a long time, uh, but we have RS-274X now available. So D apertures, uh, in the D format, apertures come in a separate file. And we have to upload those separately and manually manipulate those in op often times. Um, X has apertures embedded in the Gerber files. Um, it's quick and easy to load those and we avoid a lot of errors and mistakes that way. So X is definitely the way to go. Uh, another file format that's good is ODB++. And the next one is confusing file labels. So the files can come in with different extensions or the file name themselves. Um, so it's best to add a text label in the Gerber files just to make it clear um, what that file, uh, that layer is, so we know exactly. And then you can also add it to your fab drawing as well. Speaking of fab drawings, fabrication drawings, uh, a lot of times we don't get these um, in the files. Uh, fab drawings can have details such as the board size, any kind of cutouts, any special instructions, uh, may even have thickness, finish type, just any information that we need in the fabrication of your board, it's very helpful to uh, have that. Again, this can help us avoid errors and delays in the manufacturing of your board. The drill file format, um, some files come in with no designation in the uh, header. Uh, the header information doesn't give us the details of what the file format is, so that can take a lot of time for us to try to figure out um, what those file formats are. So it's best to use uh, Exelon, um, sometimes called Exelon, um, or what actually is ASCII 2.4 absolute with trailing zeros, and that will give us uh, consistent uh, drill data for you. Registration of layers. Some files come in without a common target, a datum, that they're aligned with. This can take extra time to align and mistakes can be made uh, from that. So it's nice to have the files come in already lined up for us. Vector fills. Often plane or ground areas come in as vector fills with one or two mil lines. This can create very large file sizes which become difficult uh, to deal with in the manufacturing process. We recommend that you use raster or contour data when you're doing fills and that will make uh, the files much easier to work with. Composite layers is the process of using uh, negative and positive images uh, combined together to make a single layer. Um, if you send each of those separate layers, uh, it can be very confusing and obviously very prone to mistakes. Uh, so if you do have this um, in your uh, software, uh, design software, please combine those um, composite layers into a single Gerber file for us and that will make the uh, process much easier. Vectorized pads, um, similar to vector fills, um, pads are made with vectors which can make, again, much larger file sizes and create some other problems in the manufacturing process. Um, so for pads, it's better to use uh, flash um, instead of vector um, when making those pads. All right, so those are the most common problems that we see. Um, we'd love to hear your questions and your comments. We'd be happy to help you with your um, process of the design of your circuit board. So give us a call at 650-367-8444 or you can visit our website at bayareacircuits.com and chat with us through our online chat. Thanks.